This week I'm enjoying fresh powder at Killington, Vermont, where the best free skiers and snowboarders in the world will gather this weekend for the second stop on the Winter Dew Tour. They'll tackle the 22-foot walls of Killington's 500-foot Olympic-sized super pipe and their massive slope-style course, both of them here at Bear Mountain. And with this new snow, Killington has a real shot at reaching full operation this weekend. Late week snow will set the stage for a wonderful midwinter weekend on the slopes. Wisp in Maryland, Blue Knob in Southern Pennsylvania, and Timberline in West Virginia will all be sporting packed powder come Saturday morning. Packed powder will be found in abundance this weekend at Liberty Roundtop and Whitetail thanks to snow Thursday night. The fresh snow will cover the mixed precip from the Tuesday storm at Shawnee Mountain, Snow Mountain, and Camelback. It's full operation at Jack Frost, Big Boulder, and Elk Mountain, and the fresh snow on Friday will make the surfaces just about flawless. Windham Mountain in New York at 4 inches Tuesday. They will pick up more on Friday, as will Mountain Creek and Greek Peak. In Vermont, Mount Snow picked up 7 inches Tuesday. They're in full operation. The snow is simply superb at Stowe and here at Killington. Out west, the week started warm but ended snowy at Sun Valley, Jackson Hole, and Snowbird, and the snow will continue through the weekend. Telluride, Snow Basin, and Park City have some firm snow underneath, but new snow late this week is softening things up. January is Learn to Ski and Ride Month. I'm Herb Stevens, the skiing weatherman. 